Today is the last day for Governor Gavin Newsom to act on dozens of bills sitting on his desk. So far, he's rejected a bill that would have made undocumented immigrants eligible for home loans. He also vetoed a bill that would have established first in the nation safety measures for large artificial intelligence models. He did sign bills banning all plastic bags at grocery stores, enhancing protections for renters and smartphone restrictions at schools. And over the weekend, Governor Newsom signed a bill into law to expand access to IVF. And ABC 10's Alicia Machado joins me in studio now with the details. So Alicia, tell us, what does this legislation mean? Yeah, well, Laura, the legislation requires large group health plans to provide coverage for infertility and fertility services, including in vitro fertilization. Now, for basic IVF cycles, IVF can cost more than $200,000 in California, according to Pacific Fertility Center. It's a tough decision for some California families. Do I decide to start a family or do I decide to look for and get a house? A decision State Senator Caroline Menjivar has weighed herself, but a bill could make affording fertility services in California a bit easier. SB 729, authored by Senator Menjivar, was signed into law by Governor Newsom Sunday. The legislation requires large group health care service plans and disability insurance policies to provide coverage for diagnosing and treating infertility. This includes fertility services like in vitro fertilization, known as IVF. The the procedures are often costly. One of my best friends had to pay upwards of $35,000 just for the first child. And that's not even IVF, that's IUI. Another best friend right now is going to Mexico to start services on fertility because it's about 75% cheaper there. The senator's office says this applies to businesses with more than 50 employees. The legislation also includes the LGBTQ plus community and unpartnered individuals. This comes just a couple weeks after legislation to establish a nationwide right to IVF failed to advance in the U.S. Senate for a second time. But not all support the legislation. The California Association of Health Plans is opposed to the bill. In a statement to ABC 10, the association said in part, the coverage requirement is expected to raise health care costs by $182 million in the first year and increase to $329.9 million in year two. During a committee hearing, the California Chamber of Commerce also expressing opposition, saying it will increase premiums on employers. The policy does not apply to small group health care service plans, which covers businesses with 50 or fewer employees. So, Alicia, when, did this, when does this new law come into effect? Yes, Laura, a multifaceted answer for that because mm -hmm. the legislation states that the bill goes into effect on July 1st, 2025. But in his signing message, Governor Newsom asked the legislature to move that date to January 1st, 2026. So a six month delay there. It goes into effect for government workers who get benefits from CalPERS in July 2027. It is a topic we will continue to follow. Well, it is good to hear, Alicia, because we know that so many lives are impacted by this issue. Keep us updated. Alicia, thank you.